So I got a quick question for you. How many times have you lost or forgot a website when you're trying to log in or you're trying to hurry or you're trying to do something uh, and time is of the essence and you forgot your password? Uh, that's happened to me many, many times. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my number one pick for a password manager so that problem never happens to you again. So real quick, my name is Mike Hobbs. I've been in the internet marketing world since 2007. Uh, I've helped a lot of people make money on the internet and uh, and I want to just help you, you know, manage your passwords a little bit better because time is of the essence. Like in fact, I, I believe I use this tool more than any other tool, literally use this every day, almost on every single website that I go to and, uh, and it's called LastPass. So basically it's a secure server that encrypts the passwords that you have in there. So if, even if, the, even if this, the platform gets hacked, they're just getting an encrypted code for your password. They're not actually getting your passwords, which is really cool. So the cool thing about this platform is all you have to do is remember one password. Okay, and in fact, if you forget that password, you are literally locked out of their system forever, right? Uh, then you have to go back and, and do reset passwords on all your websites because they're all stored in here. They will not, they don't have a reset password for this program because it's all encrypted, it's all stored on their server, but you have to remember the master password. So that's all you have to do is you remember one password and then you can make secure passwords for all the other ones, all the different websites that you have. So let me show you my screen real quick. So this is the website lastpass.com. I'll have a link in the description. I believe they do give you like free months of premium if you refer people. So, you know, if you use my link, I'll get a few free months uh, of this service. But uh, but I've been paying for this for many years since 2010, I believe. So it's been a while since I've been using this. It's it's a very reputable uh, password manager. So let me just show you how to get it installed and how it works. Um, I actually uninstalled it from my Chrome browser. Um, this works in all browsers and it works on smartphones, which is pretty cool. Uh, and, uh, and let me show you how that works. So first of all, you have to set up an account. So what I suggest you do, and if you go to the pricing, it's pretty simple, it's free. Okay, unless you want to use it on your phone and stuff like that. So I actually have this on the three dollar a month plan. So I got premium. Uh, if you have family members, you can have up to six users for one dollar a month more, and that's pretty inexpensive for a password manager. I've used a bunch of them. I've used RoboForm, Dashlane. I've used uh, One Password. I've used a whole bunch of them. I like LastPass the best. It seems to integrate with most websites better than all the other ones that I've I've tried. So first of all, you're gonna get premium, you're gonna pay for it, and then you're going to install it. So let me show you how to install it. So if you go to their website, scroll to the bottom, and click download, you can do a quick install for Google Chrome, and what's cool is you can actually install it for all of them. So you can go to each individual browser and install one for Safari, for LastPass, um, you can even do it on your computer. So like for example, you can put it on your Mac or you can put it on your PC as well. So you can install it all over the place. I highly recommend you install it everywhere that you can. And I'm just gonna do a quick install for Google Chrome, add to Chrome, add extension. And let me know if you use this too. Do you use LastPass? How do you like it? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, but right there, now it's almost done. So now what's cool is over in the right-hand corner, you'll see it pop up right there in your browser. And all you have to do is log in from here. But I'm gonna actually create an account. So I'm just gonna put a password, demo password that I have. Create an account. And then this is the password you have to remember. It has to be at least 12 characters. Okay, one second. All right, so I just picked one. So just make sure it's 12 characters. Make sure you have a capital in there, maybe a number in there. And this is the only password you have to remember. So you can write it down, put it in a notepad or something in your desk or something along those nature. Now, then that means it will be protected from the internet, but you know, someone could get into your last pass if they get that piece of paper. So just keep that in mind. You can have it by memory or you can write it down or, or whatever you wanna do. You can do a password hint here. 
Um, but keep in mind, you can't get in. So it says right here, since we can't reset your password, this rem this reminder is your phone a friend and that friend is you, <laughs> okay? So anyway, so next, and here we go. So now it's logged in. And what's cool is you now have it installed in your browser and you can, uh, you know, you can click on open my vault and you can see all your passwords in here. What's cool about this, this uh, manager is you can put notes in here so you can create secure notes, right? You can put your addresses in here so you can fill addresses as you're, when you're going through different websites and you wanna put your address in, you can put addresses in there and then obviously passwords, notes, addresses, payment cards. So you can actually fill in payment details on websites uh, that you, you store inside of this password manager. You can put your bank accounts in here. And again, all this information is encrypted on their server and it's super simple to use. And one problem out there is if someone, like a lot of people use the same password for everything, right? And what ends up happening is if someone hacks one of your websites like Facebook and then they, they get that password, now all of a sudden they have your password for like 100 different other sites. Whereas this one prevents that. So let me go ahead and show you a practical example of this. So let's go over to a website that we go to frequently. So we all have Facebook, right? So you, what you do is you go to Facebook or whatever site that you wanna log into, and then you log in for the first time. All right, click login. And then what's cool is now LastPass is gonna say, hey, add this to LastPass. And then you're gonna click add all set. So now it remembers your password and it will fill it in automatically for you. Uh, so let me let me show you an example of this. So if I log out, look at that, it filled it in automatically. Right there, it's automatically filled in and you can log in and you're good to go. And you don't ever have to remember that password again. So here's what I recommend you do at this point. Now what you should do is you should manage or go to your settings and you should change your password. Okay, you want your password to be hard and you want it to be different on every single website. So right here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my password. You can click this for the current, just click the button and then it puts your current one in. And then here's what's cool. LastPass has this little generator button to generate a new one. Look at that. And you can, uh, you can show options and you can make it hard. So you could be like, I want my Facebook password to be 50 characters, right? And I want upper lowercase and symbols, right? I want it hard, easy to read and things like that. And then you can just, uh, you know, copy that and throw that new password in right there. And you can click fill password like so. And then it puts it in there and then you click save changes. So we're good to go. So you update your password over there and now it's automatically updated and then you can go log out and then log in with your new password that it already saved for you. Just click on the login. There we have it. We're logged back in and uh, our password is updated inside of our LastPass and now you have a super complicated password for Facebook but your master one that you log into LastPass with is the only one you actually have to remember. So what I suggest you do is uh, you go to every single website, uh, log in with your normal credentials, save it into LastPass, and if you need to remember your passwords or just change them to more difficult ones, now you're completely secure. Uh, you have different passwords for every single website. Now the only ones that I recommend you have a normal password that you can type out and read um, are ones that maybe you're logging into from your phone to make it a little bit easier like bank accounts or something maybe still make them hard but uh, make them so you can type them in right a little bit but make them different make your bank account ones definitely different make your from your social media because um, I know a lot of people who use the same password for everything and LastPass will allow you to make sure you're not doing that. Uh, obviously, you can uh, save all your notes and payment cards and everything else in there as well. So anyway, I hope you got value from this video. LastPass has saved me so much time. I mean, it's crazy. Uh, let me go log into my normal account real quick.
All right, so when I go to view my vault, check this out. I literally have, if I scroll down, but look at that, need to organize folder, 2150 different passwords um, I have in this tool. So that's just a cumulative over the 10 or 11 years that I've been on internet marketing. So if I had to remember every single one of those passwords, my life would be miserable, right? If I had them all written down all over the place. So if you're planning on being in an internet marketing world or just a normal, you know, just your bank accounts and different things, if you have a ton of websites you need to log into, I highly recommend you use something like LastPass to remember them, first of all. Uh, just having to remember one, keeping it organized. And then also for a time saver, because when I go to a new website, like if I go to any website that I'm trying to log into, um, it automatically logs me in. I don't have to think about what my password is. I can just click log in and it just fills it in and it just logs me right into my different members areas that I'm a part of. So it makes my life a lot easier. It'll make a lot, your life a lot easier. Let me know your feedback on LastPass. Again, I've tried a ton of different ones. This is my favorite one out of all of them. I think every single person on the planet should have this tool, mainly because it'll save you a lot of time and a lot of a headache. Like I actually run a company and a lot of the support tickets are, I don't remember my password. How do I get into my account? This tool would prevent all of those support tickets. Like none of them would ever exist because you would just automatically save your passwords to the tool. And then you wouldn't have to worry about what they are. You can choose different ones for every website. So anyway, that's my quick tip for today. Let me know if you use LastPass below. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for other internet marketing tips. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.